Innovation is a good idea, but we have to understand. If you look at the whole world, there are many, many issues, many problems. And it's, it's fortunate that Dartmouth provide me with the thinking, education, and the, and the connections that allow me to sprint forward. Well, education is very important because without the next generation, your profession uh, is nothing. So, in fact, if you see this, you feel your work is half done. You know, it's, uh, you can do more, but this is half done. I think the students and the, you know, residents, they taught me so much because if they don't understand, I have to understand why they don't understand, okay? If they have the questions, Maybe those questions are more important than my own question because since they see it from a different viewpoint. And any times the questions maybe is the beginning of a new finding or a new idea. You just kind of say, oh, I'm pretty full, I'm the best ACL surgeon in the world, just listen to me because it works, okay? So it may work, but it may not be working as good as you think if you look at it critically and have, you know, special objective evaluation. If, we, if you're going to innovate, you have to follow the innovation very closely. What I'm saying is, innovation can be good and bad too. Sometimes you may have some deviation, but most of the time it works pretty well. Uh, so I think it's important. So I think when you are into some innovation, like myself, ACL surgery, of course I'll be very, you know, enthusiastic about a cell surgery, whatever it is. So many times I need to take a step back and really look at my result. Are they all good? Or if it's negative, what you can do to improve? And also you should encourage other researchers and scientists to repeat your results. <laughs> so I think in fact, um, if you really enjoy the profession, you should really make sure that the next generation can come along uh, with a better chance, uh, with a lot of resources, and will do better than you are. Because all the, you know, book learning, I don't think, will define itself whether you can, you know, get through the grades to get in, which is not my, you know, part to help them. But I think you must enjoy taking care of people and you must you have the passion uh, and the, I would say, worriness about people. This is how medicine is all about. It's an art. Mm -hmm.